HighGuns.com. Joel Colander for Rock Island Auction Company. It is the day before our September premiere firearms auction. And I'm gonna ask to show you some of the firearms that I think are particularly fascinating and beautiful. And one that qualifies as beautiful and powerful is this Holland and Holland double rifle. Um, appropriately sitting next to some of our other double rifles here. It's chambered in 500-465 Nitro. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Holland and Holland, one of the world's premier arms makers, both for uh, rifles, double rifles, shotguns, game rifles, big game rifles, as we have here. Uh, what attracts this ri me to this rifle is some of the engraving you'll have here on the side plate. So it is side locks, we have the side plates here. We have, of course, beautiful vine work on uh, what would we call, I guess, the fences. But here on the side plates is where, <laughs> is where all the attention gets drawn, rightly so. So with this beautiful vine work, and coming through the vines is this golden tiger. That could be enough, uh, but it's not. If you'll notice, it looks like with the gold inlay in the vines that the tiger is half hidden behind the vines and half coming out of it. Uh, well, we have engraving all the way down this extended tang, of course, for the powerful rounds, all the way down the break open switch, here on the fences, here on the side plates, and the side plates are where the attention should really be drawn, and rightly so. Uh, we flip over to the other side. In here we have similar, we have another tiger, but he's almost crouching and sliding out from some of these same vines, the same vine work style uh, that we have. Underneath, well, these tigers have to be hiding from something. And so here underneath you see we have uh, our two hunters in their howdah atop their elephant. Sure, well, actually one of the reasons I did want to talk about this gun is because the engraving uh, is surprisingly modern, probably within the last 20 to 30 years, and, and people don't always think of engraving of this level uh, as being capable in the modern age. They think, you know, they don't make them like they used to, um, that all the, the golden age of engraving is, has come and gone, um, and this is, this is the counterpoint, this is the counter argument to that, um, in saying that some of the modern artisans don't give them short shrift. There are artisans out there today that are equaling or surpassing uh, some of the art by who we uh, consider the masters. Uh, Philip Griffney is another classic example who engraved for Holland and Holland um, died much too early uh, in the 90s whose, whose work is uh, incredible and appropriately we have a Holland and Holland here uh, to show you the quality of that work.